So Sonic the Hedgehog turns 30 this year. So a couple of weeks ago I delved back into one of the weirder titles, Sonic R. I wanted to find out just how difficult it would be to fully complete the game using only Amy Rose, because clearly I hate myself. Long story short, it's possible, but dear god she's low! Her lack of a jump made a couple of the emblems complicated, but what really destroyed me was the Metal Knuckles race. I mean, that race is never easy, but Amy stands absolutely no chance, so I kind of just had to rely on sheer luck to win, and even then, it was just stupidly close. I am never doing that again. Or so I thought. Immediately after the stream, I started thinking, but what if Robotnik? He's always competing with Amy for last place. Well, I started testing him out, and yeah, it turns out Robotnik's actually pretty fast. I tested him and Amy on the first course, Resort Island, so you can see Robotnik was a full 10 seconds faster than Amy. But you know, we need a standard to compare to, so I also tested everybody else. And yeah, it turns out that, although he's a little bit slower, Robotnik's actually within a few seconds of every other starting racer. Knuckles is the fastest, so eat that, Sonic. So I guess in reality, the AI's just garbage. Well, that doesn't mean there's not a challenge here. Amy's challenge got cut short because you can't pit her against any of the secret characters, and that includes the most broken character in the game, Super Sonic. You see, Amy has no secret character counterpart. No matter who you unlock, she's always going to be the first to disappear. It's like the game knows that she's just not a challenge. But this brings us back to Robotnik. Robotnik's counterpart is Egg Robo. You know that one really specific enemy type from the Sky Sanctuary in Sonic & Knuckles? Yeah, that one. Egg Robo undeniably has the worst stats in the game. You see, Egg Robo's still got that pea shooter attack that burns through rings that Robotnik has, but he also loses the ability to levitate on water, and that's something that you have to abuse to hell with these slow characters. And since he also can't jump, that makes passing anybody of water just awful. But don't take my word for it, look at how he compared in Resort Island. He's slower than Amy. He's slower than Amy! So that was it. I had to see if it was going to be possible to beat the game with Egg Robo. Yeah, I've got loads going on in my life. Why do you ask? So first things first, we need to unlock him. See, even when I was originally going to try this as Robotnik, you have to complete every other race first, because he's locked until you complete Radiant Emerald. So I thought for consistency's sake, why don't we use Robotnik for the initial race? And then we'll continue from there. I decided that it was best to only go for the medals and not get the emeralds, and yeah, that alone made me realise just how superior Robotnik was going to be. This wouldn't have been a challenge if I just stuck with him. So now that that's out of the way, first things first, collect the emeralds and regal runes. Since I haven't unlocked any other characters yet, it's really not too bad, but the shortcut slows me down so much since I can't cross the water without sinking. See, from this point on, I need to use some tactics. Because Egg Robo is a secret character, now whenever I complete a boss race, I'm always going to be racing against them from that point forward, which is going to make it near impossible to collect the emeralds in some of the races if I do this in the wrong order. Because you need to win the race to collect the emerald, not just find it. So with that out of the way, I go to Radical City. And oh my god, how did I just realise that all of the stages begin with R? It's been over 20 years! So if possible from this point, I want to try and get the emeralds and the medals at the same time, there is an exception to that rule, but we'll get to that. Because the AI doesn't really take shortcuts in this stage, it's pretty easy and there isn't really much else to say. I do have to make sure that my speed is maxed out to get one of the medals or I fall through the lower level, same as Amy does. But yeah, and Puppet Tails is a joke. He always is. Next is Reactor Factory. If you know what boss is here, you might be thinking I've just gone insane. Well, that's because we're just here for the emeralds. Yeah, that exception I mentioned, that's it. I genuinely don't believe I could beat Metal Sonic or Metal Knuckles here by collecting the emeralds, and god forbid both of them are unlocked. Even without them it's actually a bit tricky just because of how the emeralds are placed, but I do get there. Now, Resort Island. The first attempt I realised that I could have easily completed the race with all the medals, but I was missing the emerald, so I restarted. I can't emphasise how much I don't want to race Metal Sonic while collecting the emeralds. <laughs> but another try and I managed to collect both the emerald and the medals. Yeah, the Metal Sonic race wasn't anywhere near as bad as I thought it would be, but I still had to use all of the shortcuts to stay ahead. And back to Reactor Factory to pick up the remaining medals. You might think unlocking Super Sonic first was actually a terrible idea, but you see, you only need to come third in order to race the boss. So yeah, it really wasn't too bad. But maybe I was just hoping that I would lose and the run would end here, because yeah, now we have to race Metal Knuckles. 
This was effectively the final boss in my Amy run. I genuinely didn't think I was going to beat him, and as we've established, Egg Robo is even worse than Amy. So I expected the run to just end here, and then, and then I beat him on the first attempt. What? What? The AI in this game makes absolutely no sense. But there's one track left, Radiant Emerald, and this is the big one. There's only two shortcuts hidden behind ring gates, and the AI will use them once they're open. They can also open the ring gates themselves. And now I'm up against the three best racers in the game. Also, somebody invited Puppet Tails, so... And honestly, this race went about as I expected. I actually managed to stay ahead of Metal Knuckles, which did surprise me, but Super Sonic is just way too fast. I need to apply my shortcuts. The second run, I came that much closer, but he was still far too far ahead. Clearly, there's improvements that can be made, though. The third run, I made a huge mistake, and Sonic followed me through the ring gate, and because I didn't have any rings to use the speed boost, yeah, he just blasted past me, so that wasn't going to work. And then there was the fourth race, and the fifth race. At this point, I was just about to give up. I honestly thought it wasn't possible. And then on the sixth lap, a miracle happened. For whatever reason, Sonic didn't take the shortcut on the last lap. I don't know if his AI just completely had a meltdown or if the game was taking pity on me. I mean, maybe he just didn't have any rings so he couldn't use the speed boost? I don't know. I don't care. But now I had a chance. It all came down to the last couple of corners. Everybody except Puppet Tails was just getting closer and closer. And across the finish line. Honestly, at this point, my sanity just left the building. But it was done! I now know it's possible to fully complete Sonic R with any of the characters. And I have no idea what to do with this information. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <clears throat> Not gonna lie, this challenge absolutely broke me. Originally, this video was going to be just another love letter video, but the game is just far too short. There's only five courses, and when you're not pulling crazy crap like this, you can easily blast through the whole thing in under half an hour. But Sonic R really was one of my favourite games as a child, and I played it to death. I never used Sonic Knuckles and the counterparts, I never touched Amy or Robotnik, and I very, very rarely used Tails. So now going back to it from a different point of view has been really nostalgic, but it's given me something completely brand new as well. I never actually realised I could make Sonic R this challenging. But this has been an over-analysis of Sonic R. I really did have a lot of fun putting this video together, and it made me realise that there's actually a lot of games that I play as a child that I could probably tear the mechanics apart and make these hellscapes out of, so if you'd like to see more of that, please let me know. I'm also currently working on another Love Letter video. It's a game that's considerably newer, but it's had just as much of an impact on me, so I'll be posting that soon. But until then, please let me know what you think of this video, and thanks for watching.